Do not give that shady website your password. You just got fished. Cyber criminals. Shoes off, please. Go to the real site and create a stronger password. No, 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 no. Him with the multi-factor authentication. Oh man, this is the cinch. We'll take it from here. Visit protectconnect.com to learn more. If you see it, let's get it. Amazon wants everyone to protect themselves online with the security PSA. Shout out to Amazon putting out a commercial. We'll check the commercial and check out a quick little uh, news article on it. But let's read this one. A year ago, President Biden held a cybersecurity summit at the White House with several industry leading companies such as Microsoft, Google, Facebook, and Amazon. Anderson Jassy, the CEO, and Smith, the Vice President of Security Engineering and Chief Security Officer uh, representing Amazon. The ask from the president was for a committee to enhance security posture of the nation. These companies handle most of the internet uh, activities for a wide swath of the United States. Part of that too is state and government. Everybody's moving their assets to the cloud, right? So you expect Amazon to step forward, right? They didn't, uh, they're their 800 pound gorilla in, in that space. So Stephen Smith owns the security for Amazon, everything from satellite systems to robots, delivery vehicles, self-driving cars, and AWS boxes with smiley faces. Recently sat down with Smith to understand Amazon's cybersecurity contribution, a new public service announcement, PSA to protect and connect, that launched on August 22, that was yesterday. See, they brought out the big stars. Amazon got, Amazon got money to pay them. Multi-factor authentication and training, we know that's the big deal. After the White House Security Summit, Two not so surprising conclusion emerged. The need for MFA and training. Amazon responded by providing a free MFA security key to eligible Amazon customers. The company also made free internal security awareness training material available to individuals and businesses worldwide. So yeah, I definitely need to peek at that, right? Free training and a lot of small businesses could use that. So the breakthrough, the jargon, a challenging any technology organization is to impact security, not as to employees in their language so those people can understand to get them to internalize it. As an industry, we do not do well by speaking the language of the average human. Much jargon, scare tactics, often things make it harder for the average person to understand cybersecurity. Yeah, and I come from DOD and federal, so we all about three letter acronyms to death, right? So I cannot tell you how long I how I have evangelized for the simplicity of the jargon and security benchmarks that can better show what the organizations are getting for their security investment. So far, the industry has failed. And I agree with that. We <laughs> we do a horrible job with security, um, trying to make it easier for the layman and once again, the average day person. Helping to move the, move the needle in cybersecurity. Amazon harness several assets and resources to help them move the needle on cybersecurity. Uh, Prime Video, Prime Video, you know, they got the Prime Video and everything. So Prime Video was one of such access with the creative power and top tier talent. Another was advertising businesses and own operated platforms used to dist distributing messages. Additionally, there was a consumer reach through Amazon.com. Leveraging the security talent across the organization, Amazon created a public service announcement campaign and consumers to understand the best practices to keep them safe uh, online. The cybersecurity is awareness is not a new thing. Amazon is partnering with Amazon is partnering in effort with the National Cyber Alliance, which co constantly promotes cybersecurity awareness and the emphasis with Amazon to take different and more creative approach to information accessible and engaging and entertaining and educational, right? Because once again, Amazon has a <laughs> thousands of platforms at their fingertips. So Protect and Connect introduced the concept of internet bodyguards where you could feel empowered to protect yourself online. Amazon used prime video actor Michael Jordan and actress Tessa Thompson and it, as the internet bodyguards to make the videos timely, relevant and engaging and dynamic. The goal was to make the videos fun, 
lighthearted so that people would want to watch them and share them, right? Trying to make it a little more hipper and easy. The PSA also includes three major teams. MFA is uh, easiest and one of the most powerful ways to stay safe online. MFA is authentication method require two or more verification factors to gain access to an application, online account, and VPN. So uh, let's go ahead and look actually at the video so we can actually see it. They're going to talk a little bit about it, then they're going to show the video. Let's get that going again. Make sure we got the... Preventing hacks, not on major companies, but on good folks like Frank Holland and I. Frank is back with more on this new campaign. Frank. Hey, good morning again, Brian. Well, 95% of cyber attacks are caused by human error, not sophisticated hacks or some other high-tech method. And that's why Amazon, the largest player in cloud infrastructure globally, is launching this public service announcement with Hollywood stars Michael B. Jordan and Tessa Thompson to shine some light on some of the easiest ways to prevent breaches and trying to bring some understanding to the mainstream about things like multi-factor authentication. You probably heard of it, let me explain what it is. That's when you're required to enter a code you receive by email or text in addition to a password to gain access to a secured network. The PSA, as you can see, it clearly puts a lighthearted spin on data security, but the problem's actually very serious and it's growing. According to the FBI, losses from cybersecurity attacks have increased by 383% to over $6.9 billion over the last five years. Amazon has more than 40% of the global market. Its chief security officer says the goal is to help consumers and make them feel more comfortable with the transition to cloud. The customers feel better about their security when they've got full visibility into what they're doing, which is one of the, the core tenets of operating in a cloud. And does Operating in the cloud drive more consumer online engagement? Yeah, it sure does. So the PSA could also help with the adoption of Alexa in-home devices and in cars. The Alexa platform will be in 2023 model GM and Acura vehicles. Mainstreaming of cybersecurity also helps stocks that focus on things like multi-factor authentication, zero trust, and other advanced cybersecurity measures. And these stocks include Okta, Verify Me, and Zscaler. Brian, back with you. Is there anything just smart we can do, just viewers watching or listening right now on the radio, Frank, that they get a quick action that we can take to protect ourselves? Yeah, I mean, absolutely, Brian. I mean, some of the stuff is common sense, but our lives are becoming so hectic and so much more digitally focused. A lot of times we're rushing. I don't know about you, but sometimes I'm just trying to remember my password, much less remember other things. So things like making sure you don't click on phishing emails. Um, going on sites and, and, and picking options for multi-factor authentication. Anybody who owns an iPhone, you're familiar with the term the cloud. On there, you have different methods of which you can log on and keep your personal data on your phone secure. I don't know about you, I have a lot of my very personal things on my phone. So there's a lot of little steps and um, you know, there's a lot of different things we can do, small things, because again, human error is generally the way that these hacks happen on a yeah. personal level and on a corporate level. Yeah, and I also learned you got to hover over the email because sometimes what comes up is not right. the email address, which then you realize, oh, that's not Best Buy. That's like best.buy and something else.com. Uh, Frank Collins, some good real world advice there on an important story. Frank, thank you very much. Thank you. So, once again, Amazon's out there, you know, trying to make everyone a little safer. So, uh, that's it. Once again, Professor Black Ops, cybersecurity for the people. Set up that MFA so you don't get hacked.